Hello again, YouTube. I am back with another beginner intro video. This time, I'm going to take the second most difficult things to get to know in the tarot, in my opinion, and that is the court cards. Um, I rated this as the major arcana is the most difficult, the court cards, the second most difficult, the aces, the third, and then the pips or the numbered cards, the least. Um, that might not be the same way for you. Watch it in the order it works for you. And in the meantime, let's go ahead and get started. I am going to explain to you how I see and feel the court cards and try and give you a little bit of an idea of how I use them in readings. So I'm going to start with the cups. Now, the cups are the water element. They deal with all things emotional and imagination or imaginative. Um... For me, the family is the kind of people you go to when you just need a whole bunch of attention and just hugs and food. This is the family's house I would go to if I was really just upset and needed support. This is the kind of family that when you walk in, mom and dad love you and treat you like they're you're one of their own children. The kids treat you like a sibling. Everybody gets along. This is a sitcom type family that is just... The perfect family. Um, the youngest pages usually represent children. I will take this little side note to say that here and now. Um, generally, pages go for younger people or children. This would be the younger sibling, very imaginative, has a um, probably at least one imaginary friend, uh, likes to talk to themselves, has flashes of intuition maybe, um, He's a student, he knows what he wants. He might bring messages back and forth between the family members, but that is the Page of Cups for me. And when I read cards, that's how I read this, as needing to get in touch with your imagination, needing to get in touch with your intuition. Maybe it's just really starting for you or you're just learning about it. Um, somebody who's very emotional, they try and control it, but they're not as controlled as the king or the queen would be. Um, this could be a new lover, uh, somebody who is very, very, very much in their feelings for you. That's how I would read this. The knight is like the older brother. Um, I do want to say that I'm just gendering them by what the cards say. These can apply to anybody of any gender, just to clear the air on that right now. Um, but as I was saying, the knight of cups, this is, when I see a knight, I think of chivalry and you know traditional knights the, the code of honor protecting the young innocent women children old you know the, the whole code of honor um this knight has the wings on his helmet he's got his cup he knows what he wants he's more in touch with his feelings more in touch with his feminine side so to speak um if he comes to you he's going to come to you kind of quickly He's not going to take his time. He's not going to play around. Again, he really knows what he wants. He, he knows how to get it. And he doesn't hesitate to go for it. That is how I see the Knight of Cups. Um, as with any other card, of course, it will change by the reading. You can pick up certain things from it. This is just a general, much like the last one, a general introduction just to get you started. The Queen of Cups. She is the most ornate cup in the whole of the suit. It looks something like what you would see in a church. Um, very, very ornate and it's got the moons and she spent a long time crafting this. She spent a very, very long time developing her powers of intuition and imagination and getting her life the way that it, the way that she wanted it to be. Um, she loves children. She's a mother. She's emotional, but in a controlled way. She's just very in touch with her emotions as opposed to being controlled by her emotions. Um, I don't do the whole, well, it means a person of this complexion. or I don't do that. I don't keep them to gender norms. This could come up for a man just as easily as it could come up for a woman. Anybody who's displaying these types of traits, just that motherly love, caring, affection, 
very proud of the things that they've made. They've come a long way from the page to the queen. You know, that 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 is going to be present in most of the the court cards. I will say that now. Everything is making the leap from new to it to develop. So keep that in mind. Um, the King of Cups. He is the most in control of his emotions. He still has his imagination. You see the little fish. It's still there. He just doesn't let that rule his life. Um, his throne is amidst the waves. The water is going crazy, but he is stable and steady. He keeps his head. He keeps his cool. This is somebody who helps to get you to control your own emotions. Um, he does. He's very fatherly, but he's also kind of a teacher, I guess, is what I would call the king of cups. He's, he's someone who he's gotten himself here by his own power, and he's more than willing to help you figure it out as well. Um... He also likes adventure, travel. That's what I take from the boat. But again, this could mean something different for you. This is just a start. Next, I'm going to do the wands. We have the page of wands. This family, before I even get started, this family is fiery, passionate, the kind of parents who can't get their hands off each other even after 40 years of marriage. Everybody's got their own thoughts. Maybe they have their own business. You know, these, these are the doers. These are the people with everything. For the Page of Wands, this is a new passionate romance or a passionate, um, a passion for study or reading. Anything that's a new passion, just put it that way. <laughs> I don't always speak the way I want to. This so happens, I, I just blurt it out. Sorry. Um, this would be inspiration or could be inspiration the page is learning how to use and control his will and his energies he's coming into his sexual power and and being so if you're just now getting comfortable with your sexuality this could come up for you um he likes to do things he's always on the move just for the sake of moving i will mention that the knight also has that energy but we'll get to that in a moment that's the Page of Wands for me. The Knight of Wands. Very sexual. This is a man who gets what he wants when he wants it. Um, very passionate lover. He's the kind of lover that you don't think you've... You think you've had sex until you've been with him. And then it's like, whoa, what was I missing? This is a very fiery energy. He feels things very intensely. But he also tends to burn out quickly. This is not a person to have a stable relationship with. This is a person to have a hookup with. You would want more of the king for a relationship. That's how I read it. Knights and pages both can be messages as well. But like I said, I'm trying to, in the first video, I'm trying to ignore the typical meanings and keep things straight for you guys. Next, we have the Queen of Wands. This is a woman who... She's mastered her will. She's mastered her fiery, passionate, just out of control side and turned herself into a woman who knows what she wants, when she wants it, how she wants it, and it's all right now. She's hot and cold, um, but not very cold. This is a woman who, she she's a mother, obviously, all the queens are mothers, but she's a woman who she's very, <laughs> as the kitten turns the card, she's very, um, very passionate until it burns out. And then when it burns out, she's just done with you and moves on. She is not a woman to hang around for the sake of hanging around. She has to have emotion. As far as emotion, she is very loving. Um, she's got her little black cat here. So, you know, she likes, she has her pets. She likes to take care of things. She's very nurturing. When she finds the right one, she's going to settle down and their queenliness is going to come out. That's the kind of energies I pick up on this. This could apply to anybody, mind you, not just a woman. The King of Wands. This is a cocky man. He's gotten... He's come up from that page. He's gotten himself to the throne. He's in charge. He controls everything emotionally and... Mentally, he's just 
This is an in control person. Um, very fiery. He will have his moods. He will have his uh, his anger, especially his anger and his passion are going to be the most ruling of his emotions. Please don't eat my card. Um, this is another one, like I said a little bit ago about, you know, you thought you had sex and then you, wow. This is that energy matured. This man isn't a player, but he makes sure that his woman knows that she's cared for and loved. And he shows her his passion without shame. This man is very in touch with that and does not hesitate to show it. Next, this is my most prickly family. This, this, this court family is just all prickly, defensive, closed off feeling to me. I have a lot of trouble getting in touch with these cards myself. Um, let's go ahead and start with the page. We have the page of swords. This, this is the younger, just getting in touch with their mental ability sibling. Um, a student for sure, for sure, out of all the pages, this is the most studious. But this is also the one that's most likely to use their studies for wrong reasons. This is somebody who's going to be sneaky and spying and watching you to get the upper hand. You can see he's posed like he's ready for battle. Um, to me, that makes him almost like he is just arranging to battle everything and everyone and he'll do what he can to bring that in he's so eager to move up and become a knight that he's going to just take any battle he can i don't like the energy of the page of swords or any of the swords really because for the most part the whole court the whole suit even comes off as just very um very defensive and just shut off energy so that's how i take the page of swords the Knight of Swords, he's finally moved up, he's become a knight, now he's eager to prove over and over and over again that his power was used properly, it wasn't wrong to make him a knight, he's rushing into battle against the wind, even his horse is looking at him like, what the hell are you doing? Um, he means well, but he just doesn't have the, the know-how yet. He's learning, he'll get there, but right now he's just very... I always want to say like he does the wrong thing at the wrong time trying to do right if that makes sense this this night to me he overthinks things but not in the right way he overanalyzes but he doesn't think I, I don't know trying to put words to the way I read this is a little weird but I hope you understand what I'm trying to say to you like this this man could use more time to calmly think instead of just Seeing what he can get out of it, and that's it. Next, we have the Queen of Swords. I do, the one card out of all of them that I do agree with is calling her the Widow card. I do feel like this was a very emotional, very sweet, kind, caring woman that events turned her bitter. Um, she's lost her husband, or she's lost something in her life that um, has made her pick up her sword and become defensive. She's a very sweet, kind, caring person underneath a mother. This is typically a single mother with the Queen of Swords. But um, you really have to know her and get past this sword to get to the soft core that's inside. Out of all the cards, she is the one I have the easiest time connecting to. And I have the easiest time picking things up out of. I feel like in the story of the cards... This is a family member's sword that she was left as the only one to hold it. And so she does the best she can with it. This is the type of person who no matter what life gives them, they're always going to pick up the pieces and rebuild it as good as they can. It might not be perfect, but it's the best they can make it. The King of Swords, I feel, is that guy you know who is just very quiet. He doesn't tell you what he's thinking or feeling. You know he's thinking. You know he's feeling. You can see it, but he just doesn't tell you. He is also the kind of guy that when it comes to conflicts, he's going to do what he has to do and then be done. He doesn't continue to battle. He doesn't continue to have drama or go back and forth. He fights his battle and then it's over. He's always going to decide fairly and justly. He's very logical. He takes his time and thinks. 
He doesn't move without considering all sides. That's how I see the King of Swords. This next court is the Pentacles. This is the family that just has it all. They have the cars, the houses, the money. They're happy. That's how I picture them. The Page of Pentacles is going to be a new job or a new opportunity to um, make things for yourself. Is the way I would say this. This could be a new job, a new home, a new opportunity. That's how I see the Page of Pentacles. Out of all of the suits, only uh, the Cups and the Pentacles talk to me the most as being new. Well, Cups, Pentacles, and Wands. Swords just doesn't come off to me as being new. But he comes off as just a new opportunity to make something for yourself and of yourself. He's all about learning how to run a business or how to make something out of nothing. He would definitely be somebody at his father's or his boss's side to learn as much as he can about the business. And he wants to make as much as he can of himself. He wants to be the king of pentacles and he wants it when it's time. I don't feel a rush in the pentacles. In fact, I feel very grounded and very plodding, which brings me to the knight of pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles wants, he wants the comforts and he wants the things and he wants them when he gets to them. His horse is great, big, like a plow horse, I guess is the best way to describe it. He's not going to go anywhere very fast. The Knight of Pentacles isn't about speed. He's more of like, I'll get it when I get it and that's when it's my, right for me. I want these things, but I'm not in a hurry. If this comes up in a relationship, I would say that this is somebody who does want to give you the world, but it's going to take him a while to give it to you. If that helps to paraphrase it a little. The Queen of Pentacles, I see her as a homemaker that has the beautiful Better Homes and Gardens type house. She's going to have collectibles everywhere, knickknacks, books. A pretty garden with a fountain. You know you know the kind of woman I'm talking about. That is her passion and her goal in life is just to have her house be her showcase. She's very nurturing. She likes to watch things grow. She's very kind and caring. She's very patient. She is the type of woman that all girls who are raised to be uh, girly girls are taught to be like, if that makes sense. Um, your Southern Belle types in, in the Antebellum South would have aspired to be the Queen of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles, he has built it all. He brought himself out of the dirt to have mansions and multi-million dollar cars. Like, this is the kind of guy that he has it all because he worked hard for it. He'll fight you for it. He's got himself grounded. He's centered he knows what he wants. He went for it. He got it. He's happy with it. Nobody's going to take it from him now. That is how I read these. Like I said in the last video, I read these to you guys the way that I read them to myself. I do not follow typical meanings because for the most part, they rarely come up for me in, in readings. Um, this is just to give you guys a guideline of what they might mean. You might have something entirely different that they mean to you. I hope this is a good intro. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask and I will try and answer them as best as I can. And otherwise, I will see you all again very soon. Have a good night. Bye.